Hello, today's topic is buying vans at auction. So over the last couple of weeks, I've been going to various auctions, looking at vans, trying to get a feel for it, you know, suss out the prices, the difference in price from buying a van from auction and buying a van from eBay, buying a van off a of forecourt privately. There's all different ways you can buy a van. And I really think that buying from an auction is probably the cheapest way to go but also the most riskiest because when you buy a van from an auction you don't get any warranty you don't get nothing if the gearbox is gone if the clutch is gone if it's got head gasket problems all sorts of things that can go wrong with vans it's too bad it's your van once the hammer goes down you you're in a legal contract with the auction to go ahead with the purchase of that van and about 80% of them are sold as seen. Some of them come with um, like a, an hour's warranty. So you get an hour to drive the van to make sure it's okay. But only about 20% of them. Also bear in mind, a lot of them, or well 90% of them, attract VAT. So you need to consider that when the hammer goes down, you've got VAT to pay and you've also got the auction fees to pay. And the auction fees can be astronomical. I mean, it's unbelievable. The amount of money them guys must make is incredible. Uh, I, I tried to video it, but it was raining. Like yesterday, it was absolutely chucking it down. It was biblical, and I just could not video anything. And inside the auction, they got signs up everywhere. No videoing, no, pho no photography, no video recording. And I didn't want to risk it. I didn't want to get chucked out of the auction because I was there on this particular day yesterday to buy a particular van, the one I'm sat in right now. Well, I'm absolutely stoked that I did buy this van. Um, so, yeah, I, I found out that when you go to a van auction, obviously most of the people there are there to buy a van. Well, not most of them, all of them. Everyone there is there to buy a van, okay? So the prices at van auctions are pretty much on par with the book value. All the nice, low mileage, clean vans, they all made book, but some of them even went over book value. They were, they were selling for more than they were the, the, the little book that the dealers have, more than the book, book value, basically. Um, I can't emphasize that enough. But anyway, um, yeah, the only cheap ones were like rusty, high mileage, no maintenance they all went like pretty cheap so you know if you if you're mechanically minded then yeah maybe you could pick up a bargain doing it that way or if you can do a bit of body work some of them were dented and the dealers didn't want the dented damaged stuff so the prices stayed below book but do remember VAT and the auction fees make sure you check the auction fees you know, they even charge you £25 to send off the logbook. On top of the £500 they charged you for buying the van. Luckily, I didn't um, pay that much because the van I brought was so cheap. Yeah, it was ridiculous. But we'll come to that in a minute. So, uh, you're all wondering what I bought, I guess. Well, the van I actually brought, I didn't think I would actually buy, but I did. And the reason I got it cheap is because I went to a car auction. Now, at a car auction, most of the people there are there to buy cars. So I found when the odd van went through, the van went cheap. It was like, because nobody wants a van. They're there to buy a car, right? So a van comes through, everyone's like, oh, what's a van doing here? But at car auctions, you do get the odd van go through. And I was, I was at the auction purely just to have a look and out of interest see what this particular van would go for through for because I was I saw it online I saw oh look there's a van at a car auction I'll check it out but it was so cheap I just had to buy it um, and I never even I mean this mod make a model of van wasn't even on my radar it wasn't you know I was looking at Mercedes Sprinters uh, the Fiat Ducatos uh, my Vanos all them sort of run of the mill stuff. But what I actually end up buying um, is an LDV, Maxus. And I've never even given them, you know, I say they weren't even in my radar. 
but I'm so pleased I did. This van drives like a dream. It's only done 100,000 miles, even though it is, how old is it? 11 years old. It's an 11 year old van. I'll show you around in a minute. And uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. So uh, I'm going to stop right there and then show you around. So here's the van. This is my recent purchase. It's an LDV Maxxis. And like I say, it wasn't even on my radar. I was looking at sprinters and uh, like like crafters. Fox all my vanos, stuff like that. Never even considered one of these. As you can see the interior is pretty grim. But the inside, the cab area, is quite nice. I'm quite pleased. It's got electric windows, electric mirrors even. Even the mirrors are electric. The dashboard is a bit strange. The clocks are in the middle. And apparently they put the clocks in the middle so that the steering wheel they could have on either side. Quite a nifty idea, considering we in the UK driving the wrong side of the road. <clears throat> One of the little things I like about it while I'm here, there's no quarter window. So the window is like it's got a big area. So like all the other vans have got a like a quarter light window. Like the transits, there's a transit over here. You see it's got this quarter window. But the old DV doesn't have that. So I know it's something silly but I quite like it. Um, the shocking thing was no rust. Absolutely no rust on this van at all. Even though it's 11 years old. Absolutely no rust. Also, something else I was quite shocked about and pleased at the same time is under the bonnet. Under the bonnet, the engine is dry as a bone. There's no oil anywhere. Um, yeah, it's all right. So there it is. High roof, long wheelbase, LDV. Someone said it stands for lots of different vehicles because it's a bit of a mix up and a match up. But, um, I'm really pleased how it drives and uh, yeah, I'll say more about it later. So as a conclusion to my buying a van at auction video, would I recommend you go buy a van from auction? Uh, I would certainly um, encourage you to go, do your research, do keep an eye on the prices, remember VAT, remember the auction fees and only do it if you are absolutely confident that you can spot or tell the difference between a pig in a poke and a bargain. You could get lucky, but at the same time, you could come unstuck. A friend of mine was telling me the other day that his brother brought a, a car with warranty, drove it home, happy as could punch, two days later, gearbox went. He took the the car back to the auction they said too bad it's your car you're out of warranty but they did offer very kindly to put the car back into the auction to sell it on to somebody else <clears throat> and obviously with no warranty so because it had no warranty it sold for a lot less plus the auction fees ended up about 1200 pound out of pocket that's not the end of the story because some poor bugger brought that car with no warranty so somebody else down the line has lost money. So it is a big gamble. So I only do it if you are absolutely confident. And yeah, do your research. Just do your research before you go. Um, me personally, I, I really think I got lucky with this van. But bearing in mind, I did do a lot of miles. And I went to a lot of auctions. 
I probably went between sort of 10, 15 auctions and I've done maybe over a thousand miles. <clears throat> and that's over probably the period of a good month. So yeah, did this van work out cheap? I could have saved a lot of time by just going to a dealer and buying it off a forecourt. And I would have got warranty. So it's a bit, a bit of a grey area, I think. So all I can say is I recommend it. I recommend you do your research first. And only buy a van or a car at auction if you are confident. If you're not confident about it, don't do it. It is like going to a casino. You never know your luck. So there you go. Yeah, I really got lucky. I even got a little mascot. I'm going to have to put him through the washing machine. Give him a bit of a clean, a bit of a scrub. I'm going to be keeping that. Can't chuck the fella out. It's his home. So, yeah, if you like this video, thumbs up. Hit subscribe. If you want to see me turn this van into a camper. Till then, ta-ta for now. Happy camping. Good luck at the auction.